Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of chemistry. That's chemistry. Alright, and today we'll continue our study into the types of reactions that we have. Alright, we have looked a lot, we have looked at a whole, a whole lot of what uh, types of reactions and uh, we left the best for the last, which is the oxidation and the reduction reaction. That means in this class, we're going to be looking at oxidation and reduction reactions all right so oxidation and reduction reactions do not forget that this video tutorial of course is brought to you by the o3 schools jump app it's all that you need to succeed in your exam it has all the recent and past question on the app even last year's question is on the app all right so it has so many wonderful features that are designed to make you succeed in your exam like for example there's the classroom feature that teaches you that leads you to an answer in a particular question in any subject you are trying to study all right so it does not just give you the answer directly it leads you so that you can know the answer because if you test the answer directly you will not learn there are some things you need to learn all right so all those things you will not be able to learn there if you just test the answer instead it only what leads you or to the world to the answer in fact you can chat with it you can interact with it you can ask it any question a wonderful feature also there's the question search feature where you can search for questions by topics all right and also there's the utme challenge which we conduct for all students that are writing jam this year all right we, we conduct that challenge every saturday till one week to jam exam after the challenge we release your results just as jams release what your your results so after every week's challenge we release your results so you see your results according to the subject you have chosen all right and then of course when you see your results we're able to see your strengths and your weak your weak areas and then be able to improve on your weak areas in in the upcoming world challenges all right also it makes you get used to how jam sets question because the challenge is going to consist of all standard jam questions and also it builds your confidence towards the main jam exam the app is available for both android and pc and even ios devices soon all right and in case you want to download the app for ios just simply what uh, sorry you want to download the app for what for laptop or for your computers just send a message on whatsapp on this number 09121515246 just send a message on on whatsapp please you don't need to call the line on whatsapp on this what number all right and you want to download the uh the app for android go to play store is much much available there yeah. all right of course if you want to activate the app activation is three thousand naira. as at the time of shooting this video is three thousand naira. all right so it may increase so that some of you would not say ah this is so and so this is so and so amount all right so anytime you're watching this video at the time i'm shooting it is three thousand naira. so go to what play store download the app if you need the the pc version for your computer so that i can practice and see if you are in you are practicing with computer on the main jam exam then of course you can send a message on whatsapp and anything that has to do with activation is on this number it is what secure is totally what secure to pay online there are so many payment options there so you can choose anyone or you can just send a message to that number so now let's look at oxidation and reduction reactions oxidation and reduction reactions together oxidation and reduction reactions together are called what redox redox reactions all right oxidation and reduction reaction together they are called redox reaction you can see we're taking the arrow e from this one all right and then we took our dox from here so it just will read us what reaction oxidation and reduction reaction all right and they are a part of nearly all reactions they are a part of nearly all reactions when it comes to what chemistry all right like for example during electrolysis right where what reduction during electrolysis, during electrolysis, right? Reduction what happens at the cathode and oxidation happens at the what? Anode. All right? So that is what, uh, of course, to show that what oxidation and reduction reactions are a part of what nearly all what chemical what reactions. All right? And also, they are opposite of each other they are opposite of each other 
Oxidation and reduction reactions are opposite of what of each other, but they must always what occur what together. They must always what occur together. That means you cannot say what uh and they, they cannot be what oxidation reaction without what, a corresponding uh reduction reaction and vice versa. So they are opposite of each other, right? They are opposite of each other, but the word, but they must occur together. They cannot be reduction reactions without what oxidation reaction. They cannot be oxidation reaction without what a corresponding reduction reaction and vice versa. That is why it would be wrong for you to say ah that this is a oxidation water reaction. Okay, so instead, or what you can say, what this or, or is wrong for you to say this is a reduction reaction. All right, it's not good for you to separate them. Instead, we look for redox. We look for the redox in what in reaction. We don't look for the what oxidation or what the reduction in reaction. We look for the redox together, the oxidation and reduction in what in reactions. All right, so there are so many ways that we can define oxidation and reduction. So many ways using different criteria. Let's quickly see what the definitions of what of oxidation and reduction. So we can define what oxidation what and reduction in terms of oxygen. Let's look at terms here. In terms of what? Oxygen. All right. Let's here be what oxidation. And then let's here be reduction. All right. So we can define oxidation in terms of what of oxygen. And in terms of oxygen, we simply say that oxidation is the addition or gain of oxygen. Oxidation is the addition or gain of oxygen. While reduction is the remover or loss of what of oxygen. So oxidation is the addition or gain of oxygen. Why reduction is a remover or loss of oxygen? Please, if you have not liked this video, what you are doing is wrong. Liking the video will make other students easily find this video. Please just click on that like button so that students can easily work. locate this video and also learn as you are learning. Also, if you have not subscribed to this channel, you are doing it yourself because subscription will send notification to your phone directly to your phone whenever we release any new video. So please click on that red subscribe button. If, if, if it is showing red below this video, that means you have not subscribed. Just click on it. It should be showing ash for subscription. So when it's showing ash color, it means you have subscribed. If it's showing red, it means you have not what? Click on the subscribe button. So please do that now. And also do not forget to share this video so that what others can also what, learn. Okay, so in terms of oxygen, we have said oxidation is the addition or gain of oxygen. And for reduction, it is mover or loss of what of oxygen. Also, in terms of hydrogen, we can define what oxidation and reduction. So oxidation, on the other hand, is the word remover or loss of hydrogen. Why? In terms of reduction, is the addition or gain of what of of, of hydrogen. All right. I do, in terms of hydrogen, remover or loss of hydrogen for oxidation addition or gain of hydrogen for what for reduction also it can be defined right in terms of electronegativity in terms of electronegativity all right in terms of electronegativity oxidation is the addition or gain of electronegativity while reduction is the remover or loss of electronegativity. All right, so please take note of them in terms of oxidation, addition or gain for oxidation, remover or loss for reduction. In terms of hydrogen, you remo uh, remover or loss for oxidation, addition or gain for oxygen, for sorry, for uh, for reduction, addition or gain of what of hydrogen for reduction. Oh, sorry, for hydrogen. All right, so then electronegativity, addition or gain for oxidation. Removal or loss for reduction. Then also it can be defined in terms of electropositivity. Electropositivity. All right. So in terms of electropositivity now, oxidation is remover or loss of electropositivity. Why is what is the addition or gain of electropositivity? All right, it can also be what be defined in terms of oxidation number. Oxidation number. Oxidation number. All right, oxidation is increase. Increase in oxidation number. Increase. 
in oxidation number why what for reduction is what decrease decrease of what of oxidation number decrease in oxidation number right that means for oxidation right for oxidation in terms of oxidation number what increase the oxidation number what increases why what for reduction the oxidation number decreases all right now also can also be defined in terms of electron transfer electron transfer and in terms of electron transfer oxidation is the loss loss of electrons all right why reduction on the other hand is the gain of what electrons all right so these are all the ways that we can define what oxidation and reduction all right so in terms of oxygen in terms of hydrogen in terms of electronegativity, in terms of electropositivity, in terms of oxidation number, and in terms of electron transfer. And in terms of oxygen is the addition for oxidation, is addition or gain. For reduction is removal or loss. And in terms of hydrogen, oxidation is removal or loss. Reduction is addition or gain. In terms of electronegativity, oxidation is addition or gain. Reduction is removal or loss. And in terms of electropositivity, Oxidation is removal or loss of electropositivity, while reduction is what? Addition or gain of electropositivity. And in terms of oxidation number, oxidation is increase in oxidation number, while what? Reduction is decrease in oxidation number. In terms of electron transfer, oxidation is what? Loss of electrons, while reduction is gain of electrons. All right, from the last two definitions, right, what it tells us is that what? Oxidation is increase in oxidation number resulting from loss of electrons right why reduction is decrease in oxidation number resulting from gain of electrons what it means is that now when it what when an atom what when an atom in terms of oxidation when an atom what loses electrons the oxidation number increases why when an atom gains electrons the oxidation number what decreases and that is why this and what this oxidation number and terms of electron transfer is one of the most used what when it comes to what oxidation and reduction reaction. In fact, when calculating for redox reactions, that is what we actually what uh, major on, and that's why it's very important you understand this part very well, right? So in terms of oxidation, right? Oxidation in terms of what oxidation number? Oxidation is the increase in oxidation number. The oxidation number increases. It increases. Resulting from what loss of electrons. That means the atom loses electrons to gain increase in oxidation number. Why for this? In terms of oxidation number, reduction is decrease in oxidation number, resulting from gain of electrons. That means an atom actually what gains electrons and what then becomes what decrease. That means the oxidation number becomes what decrease because it has gained electrons. All right. Then look at what two uh, uh, atoms together. Let me take this part off. All right. So let's see. Let's this. Let's see this. Let me leave that those two last definitions. Okay, so this is decrease, decrease in oxidation number, while this is increase. All right. Now let's see what sodium atom, sodium will give us what Na plus what E minus Na plus rather. Why we have Cl plus E minus to give us what Cl minus. All right. Now let's look at what these two what reaction was closely. Now as you can see the sodium atom, right? Loses what one electron. It loses one electron to now become what the sodium what the ion here. Why here the chloride what atom gains one electron to now become what the chloride what ion here. Now let's see the oxidation number. As we said, oxidation number in terms of what oxidation, oxidation is what increase in oxidation number resulting from loss of electrons. So it is sodium that lost what electron loss that okay that lose what electron. All right, sodium lost electron. This one, chlorine, chlorine gained. All right, now we are able to certify here that what sodium actually what lost what the electron, right? Lose the electron. Why what chlorine actually what gained the electron? Now let us see what happens to the oxidation number. The oxidation number does it increase or decrease? All right. I'm sure you must, must have watched that video where they, where they were asking about increase and decrease. All of them were shouting increases in the class. All right, so does it increase or decrease? Because it has lost loss electron, loss of electron. If it increases, that means our definition was, is what very, very well correct. Now, let's look at the sodium atom here. This is sodium Na. 
you can come with any plus plus or e minus what is the oxidation number of sodium here the oxidation number of a free atom atom that is not what having any ion or charge is called what is zero that's what the oxidation number of what of a free atom right there's no charge so originally sodium what has what uh, an oxidation number of what of zero but now when it lost the electron it now becomes what plus one all right so this is what this is what plus one we don't write plus one because what we know that plus standing alone is what is plus one okay so now the oxidation number of what of oxygen uh, sorry of sodium rather increase from zero to plus one all right so does that not mean that the oxygen number increased it means it has what it has increased so that means we are very correct here that what because sodium has lost what an electron right the oxygen number what increased from zero to plus one now let's look at chlorine chlorine gained what electron all right now because i gained the electron initially here yeah, chlorine chlorine the oxygen number of chlorine is what is zero but when it got here it came what minus one zero and minus one which one is bigger of course zero is bigger than what than minus one all right so that means what well, the oxidation number what decreased for what for chlorine because it's what it gained what electron so that is why we define oxidation number in so define what oxidation in terms of oxidation number as increase in oxidation number as, as sodium has increased from zero to plus one all right why reduction is decreased in oxidation number as, as reduced from what from what from zero to what to minus one here because it has what gained electron right that is why together we say oxidation uh, oxidation is the increase in oxidation number resulting from loss of electron while reduction is decrease in oxidation number resulting from gain of electrons my name remains Ola Bitango. in the next class i'll show you how to always of all looking forward for redox in reactions thanks and god bless you